guys, today I have another little potty training set review for you. So today we're going to be talking about the Flip Potty Training Set. So it is a cover and three inserts that you can buy separately from the cover. So they run $19.95 for the cover itself and $17.95 for a three pack of these inserts here. And they are 100% cotton inserts. And of course, I do want to say thank you to Karen with Green Mountain Diapers who allowed me to pick out this set and try it out and show it off to you guys. I will leave a link down below to my Green Mountain Diapers haul where she let me pick out a bunch of different things if you guys are interested in seeing all the stuff that I picked up. But for today, we are going to be talking about this flip set. So let's get into it. So first of all, let's talk a little bit about the anatomy of this guy. Let me show you some close-ups and how exactly it's all laid out. So it is a snap diaper. There's no Velcro for the waist and it does have adjustable sizes here. Um, the front snaps are just a single set of snaps, but each of the side on the back side of the snaps, you have two different options to make it bigger or smaller. Aaron is about 30 pounds right now and he has, he's kind of like awkwardly fully snapped out on one side and still has some room to snap out on the other side. So there is some room for it to grow on him or it could go, it could go a little bit smaller if you have a smaller kiddo as well. So these do snap off fully. The snap panels are totally adjustable on either side. They are a little bit stretchy, nice and stretchy, so you can pull them up and down, of course. That's the whole point of a potty training set, if you ask me, being able to move it up and down on baby without snapping the whole thing off. Of course, I love that it has snaps because if there is a poo situation, it makes it super easy to take care of that. And it even has rise settings. So you can see Aaron is snapped down one little rise setting here, but there's also another set you can make it a little bit smaller and you can also make it a little bit bigger. So you do have some options as far as the uh, length or the uh, rise setting on baby's belly side. Inside, it does have a couple little flaps here and the inserts are a hook and loop attachment. So they Velcro right in there and they stay put and then on the other side of this flap it does have the extra part of Velcro so that it has like the laundry tabs. It just saves this from being like stuck on other things when it's going through the washing machine or through the dryer so that's super nice to have that. But that means that these are pretty much the only inserts you're going to be able to use with this guy because I don't know of any other inserts that have that Velcro on there. You're only going to be able to use inserts that have the Velcro on there if you want it to actually stay put inside of diaper. Of course, you could put any kind of flat or any other inserts that you want to use inside here, but it does make it a little bit more difficult if it's just laying in there. When you're pulling it up and down, it can get kind of bunched up and whatnot. So the Velcro on this helps it stay in place so that it actually stays up and you don't have problems with taking it up and down on baby. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the anatomy of this little potty training pants set here. So let's talk about my opinions about it. Now you may have been able to notice while I was showing you guys that this little insert here is a little bit stiff. It's not quite as movable as you maybe would want it to be. So to me, it not being very movable and being kind of stiff makes me think it's uncomfortable on baby, but I totally understand why they made it so stiff so that it actually stays put in the diaper when you're pulling it up and down. I have other diaper systems, other training pants systems where the insert is just a little bit more floppy and it does make it kind of difficult to pull it up and down on baby. You have to like, you know, push it back in and pull it up on the crotch side and just like, it just kind of becomes an issue when the fabric is so movable and really flimsy. So I understand why they made it a little bit stiffer so it makes it easier to pull up and down. But to me, it being so stiff, seems like it would be uncomfortable to wear. So because these inserts are 100% cotton, they don't have a stay dry layer on them, babies should be able to feel when they are wet and feel the uncomfortableness that comes with being wet, which should help baby try to get into potty training and understanding when they've gone potty and understanding when they need a new diaper and stuff like that. So 100% cotton is great for trying to get baby to recognize the feeling of being wet and notice when they have gone potty. Now overall, I feel like this is a little bit pricey. You know, you're paying 20 bucks for the cover plus another 18 bucks for three inserts. It's a little bit more on the pricey side, but I do enjoy using this on Erin and I think it's really great for transitioning between 
wearing cloth diapers and wearing traditional like underpants. I think it's a really nice like first step out of cloth diapers because the inserts do hold plenty of liquid. I feel like they are plenty thick. They have plenty of absorbency in there. They're nothing too thick and bulky and crazy, but they do hold a, a decent pee. If there's a real pee problem, if there's a real accident, a big accident, these things are totally fine and they're totally waterproof on the outside. So they're not going to get on baby's pants or whatever. I know I keep saying baby, Baby, but we're really talking about toddlers. <laughs> so I do really like this. I do think it's a really good first step out of cloth diapers. So if you're looking for making a real transition and gradually getting baby into or toddler into wearing training pants, this is a really good first step out of cloth diapers toward learning to potty train. So I do have kind of mixed feelings about it. I do feel like it's a little bit pricey, but at the same time, I do enjoy using it on Erin, and I think it's a really good first step out of cloth diapers. So I do enjoy the stretchy sides. I love being able to unsnap it for poo situations. That's a really big deal to me. I always want something that's going to have the snaps on the side for being able to deal with a poopy situation. I just, we've only been potty training for a couple of months now, but we have definitely been needing ones that have the snaps. So I super love that it has the snaps on there. Plus it's adjustable. So that just makes it even better being able to use it on a littler kid and a bigger kid as well. And I find the size of the snaps are totally fine. Uh, like I said, Aaron is kind of awkwardly fully snapped out on one side and still has room to grow on the other side, so it could go for a bigger kit as well. I have tried some other training pants that just seem a little too snug on him, like the Grovia one. I had to buy the extra large side panels for it. I'm not sure if Flip, uh, if they actually have bigger side panels for this, but like I said, there's still some room for Aaron to grow, so I feel like it's a, a decent size. It's not too small, not too big. And since this is just a shell, just a cover on the outside, if baby does have an accident on this insert, you can just go ahead and rip it out, take it out of there and put in a new one and you don't have to change the whole cover and everything. But you do probably have to like lay the kid down to take it off and everything just to change out the insert. But it's maybe it's gonna save you a little bit in the long run being able to switch out the inserts in here. Of course, if there's a poopy situation, if it gets on the cover, you're not gonna want to reuse the cover. But for pot for just potty accidents, it's really nice that you can just switch out the inside part. So this is the only one that I own of this little flip set. I didn't love it so much that I felt like I needed to buy more of them, if that tells you anything. Like I said, I'm just kind of on the fence about it. I'm not really like in love with it, but I don't like hate it or anything. It's just kind of like a mediocre little uh, potty training set here. So yeah, those are my thoughts on this little flip training set. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be a little bit helpful in some way. Let me know your opinions if you have used this guy or if you're thinking about using this guy. Let me know down in the comments below and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.